Hello there, my name is Zina. I'm going to speak about the Bible in the chair um, made by Eileen Gray. Uh, the chair was designed first for the um, hat designer that uh, asked uh, Eileen to refurbish her flat. Uh, Eileen wanted the chair to look inviting, bold, comfortable, and um, uh, as well as to be the focal point uh, to meet the preference of her client. Eileen designed the, the chair uh, in, in 1926, uh, inspired by the Michelin Man. Uh, she was uh, influenced by Art Deco, which concentrated on form, and uh, Functionalism, which concentrated on function. She also was influenced by the uh, group of modernist uh, architects, uh, Miss Van der Rohe, Marcel Brewer, and Le Corbusier. Although she was influenced by all of them, uh, she decided not to be any part of any uh, of uh, group uh, of architects or movement. Uh, because of her reclusive nature and feminist ideas, uh, as design was male profession at that time. She decided to take her own path. Um, and uh, we can see here um, in the picture how Eileen uh, uh, chose uh, um, the uh, form of the chair uh, to serve the, um, uh, the uh, function of the chair in effective and clever way. She actually combined um, the form and function together in her design um, uh, to uh, create a complete uh, whole design. Uh, all the critics, designers, uh, at that time described the chair as a triumph and uh, it was admired by Le Corbusier too. But unfortunately, Eileen Gray was forgotten for decades because of her um, uh, shyness and uh, uncomfortable of um, self-promotion. Promotion. Uh, luckily, a few years before her death, uh, she um, witnessed a revival of her work coming back to life. Uh, she sold the full license of her work to Aram store in London. Uh, nowadays, um, the Bible chair is one of the most popular iconic chair, and it's nearly 100 years old. Uh, it's considered a modernist, uh, timeless uh, design uh, that will never be fade uh, and, or um, out of date. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it.